What's going on guys, Arava here and welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome to the return of an old familiar series to the channel after some time. This is my Survive series. Now if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know back on F1 2013 and 2014, I had this series where I would slap on realistic damage mod onto the PC version of the F1 game and that damage mod would basically mean that the stupid AI from back in 2013 and 2014 would find it very, very difficult to to not uh, crash into one another and completely destroy the entire grid without me even having to do anything. So basically it was a case of me dodging cars all the time and trying to survive one lap. Well, since then, the AI have vastly improved and up to this point, it's never really been worthwhile trying to attempt to do the same style of videos. I've done a few one-offs in the past, I'll admit. Obviously, I've done like keyboard challenges. I did one at Baku, obviously, at the very start of this game back in last August, but uh, finally now, now, there is a realistic damage mod for F1 2016 that I've been told is good enough that it even defeats the cleverer AI of 2016 compared to their 2013 counterparts. It's finally a mod that even the 2016 AI can't drive around and that I should find it quite a challenge to try and survive one lap. So we're going to give that a test today. We're going to see if we can, uh, you know, I'm quite glad I can say this, try and survive a lap here at the Monaco Grand Prix, of course. Of course, we have to we have to drive as the world's best British driver at the moment, Julian Palmer. We have to try and survive Monaco as him. It, it only seems fitting, really. So let's get into this then. We go to five red lights to the Monaco Grand Prix for Survive Monaco. It's been a while since I've said that, but we're on the way for our first attempt. Pretty sluggish start, actually, but uh, <laughs> I forgot I had the fake safety car. Oh, there's been a pile drive and a half already. I forgot. I forgot we had the fake safety car. Right, well, great start there. I completely just lost the plot and actually just caught up with a kind of T-bone crash with our teammates. So let's uh, try attempt number two. There may be quite a few attempts. I've, oh, I've actually, I've, <laughs> I've got a jump start. My bad. I let go of the A button a bit too quickly there, but we're now side by side trying to go. Oh, no. Mm. Well. I can tell you one thing, the mod works, the realistic da or hardcore damage works a treat. I can tell you that much. Right, attempt number three. Five red lights, let's uh, not jump start this time. But let's try and take a bit more avoiding action. We've got the frick, this safety car is scaring the life out of me here down in the inside. <laughs> this really is quite a sensitive mod. It's quite a sensitive mod. I literally, let's fast forward this here. I literally tapped Hulkenberg. Look at this, little love tap there. Broke my front wing, and then the wheel came off before I even made contact. Yeah, my wheel like broke off before the car even hit Hulkenberg. This may be quite a long afternoon here in the Principality, but we'll move on and continue on as ever. Attempt number four. This is to five red lights. Now this time, we've got a much better start. Oh, Hulkenberg. So let's try and go down the inside if we can, being very cautious. Nico. Nico, N Nico, if we can't work together, you, you you have to work with me here. You can't be just penning me in and, you know, that just didn't end well. Okay, here we go. Number five, I think, already? I've already lost count of how many attempts we've had. I've completely just not even looked at the lights properly. It's probably for the best, to be honest, because that mana car seems to be... I've been spun round by the safety car! Things I never thought I'd be saying ever in an F1 video. The safety car has taken me out by spinning me out. That does, that's not a usual thing. Five red lights, it may help if this time I react to the five red lights. You know, I'm, I'm so busy just concentrating on talking you through my thoughts here that I just missed the lights. We've already got a crash and ah, again! Just comes out of nowhere and decks me. Right, I'm gonna try down the inside this time. I feel like I need to get the jump on the safety car and go down the inside. That's the way we're going to do things. So here we go. Come on. No, 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 no. It's already on my inside. Oh my! Yeah. The safety cars are the new Saubers of this series. You'll know what I'm talking about if you used to watch this series. They're the new Saubers. I'll be honest. I didn't think this uh, video was going to be avoiding quote unquote safety cars, but there you go. You never know what can happen at Monaco. Fire lights for uh, another attempt here. Can we get a better start? Then last time, yes we can, we'll go to the inside this time, thankfully. Gonna take it nice and easy though. We're gonna go down the inside of Magnuson if we can squeeze in here. Massa's out this race. 
but we're all good for now. We're side by side with Alonso here, who's not racing at the real Monaco, but my team heads at the Grand Prix. Let's lunge it down the inside of Fernando. Oh, no, it's gone wrong. Sorry, Fernando. Sorry. Sorry there. To be honest, I thought that was an okay lunge, but then that's just the mod coming in. Look at this. That's how much the damage affects things. Literally a tap, and the wheel has come off. That is... A very harsh mod. That is, I'll give it. The, I'll give it to the mod maker. I'll link the mod in the in the description below. By the way, I'll give it to them. They've made it a very very hardcore mod. So I can see why they said it's worth coming back to this mod and trying it again. Uh, because previously on like 2015, the mod just wasn't good enough to be that entertaining. Like it wasn't much of a challenge. I've been taken out by the Sauber. Right. So far we've got as far as uh, towards Casino. Let's try and get a bit farther this time if we can. Five red lights. And we're underway. Going to cut across here once again to get to the inside line. I feel like that's the best way around this. Yellow flag's up ahead of us. Going to take it nice and easy. Can I nip down the inside here without cutting the corner too much? But Stappen's out this Grand Prix. Oh, God. I've got Magnussen down my inside. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Matt. Oh! Ferrari car in the... Oh, my God. It's absolute carnage. There was a Ferrari car there that I could have easily just smacked into. Look at this. As I, if I held my line right here, I would have been going straight into the side of the Ferrari who's literally creamed it into that wall. It's Raikkonen. Let's hope Raikkonen doesn't end up like that in tomorrow's Grand Prix, hey? Right, come on. Come on. I'm finding the I'm finding the rhythm. I'm finding the groove here. Three wide. Three wide. Not going to end well. Cars are so sensitive now that my nan could tap one of the tyres and it would fall off the car. That's what would happen there. Five red lights, and we're underway again. The sa oh my god, the safety car's coming at me, but Kafiat had a poor start. Oh, this is going to end badly. End badly. It's going to end badly. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Okay, start. Poor one for K-Mag. Can we nip it down the inside? Oh, my god, that is so close. That is so close. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? How? Oh, a front wing came and lo lopped off my rear tyre. I think that was my teammate's front wing. Look at this from Hulkenberg. Disconnected rear right tire. You can see, look at that. His rear right tire disconnects here, flies forwards, and takes out my rear left tire. Ninjas. Absolute ninjas we've got on the grid here. Need to take evasive action here. I feel like I need to go right to the right into turn one. Really avoid everyone because they're all just using their cars as weapons. You know, front wings off. Rear tires off, and that flies towards me, and bang, you got some damage. So I'm gonna go, oh my. It's a car park. It's a car park. It seems very difficult right now. I feel like once I get past sector one, and we've really got past the slower cars potentially with the carnage, we could survive this pretty easily from like sector two, like the hairpin, I wanna say. But it's just getting past these guys. Once again, I'll nip it down the inside. We'll try and join the McLaren cars. Oh no! That's a huge pileup, a 10 car pileup. Yellow flags, yellow flags, please no overtaking here in sector one. Yellow flags, yellow flags, no overtaking, please, thank you. It's like the F1 graveyard right there. That's the F1 graveyard. That's where F1 cars go to die, right there. Would have been an okay attempt. I think that we could have gone on to do done great things there if it weren't for the pileup. Obviously, that's quite a big if. So let's try and well, I, ca I can't even say let's try and avoid the pileup. I can't avoid a pileup. It's really just I'm hoping the AI don't cause said pileup. Let's go down the inside of the safety car and Magnuson. And there's been another. There's a Williams there. I'm guessing it's Stroll. This mod is not even allowing me to finish my sentences. I get into a crash before I finish my sentence about. Avoiding the crash. Um, <laughs> right, let's try again. We've had a really slow start, but actually this may pay out for us because let's just watch where cars go here. Let's nip down the inside here. Right, all good. We're in 17th place. That means there's, there's, there's way more cars out ahead. Like oh my crikey. Look at this absolutely amazing crash between the Red Bull and Raikkonen. Look at that. Oh my Jesus. And then the Ferrari's just there. Wait, oh, how scary is that? <laughs> and we roll the dice again. Right, get past the safety car this time once again. Send it down the inside once again. Let's gain some more positions here, actually. We're up into, oh, P13. There's like, mount the car. Oh, oh my. Ah, I was so close to navigating that gap. Ah, oh, there's a Red Bull and a Williams, I think that was. I was so, look at this gap I was about to navigate here. I actually, 
At this point, I got a brake check. I felt the brake check, so I nearly got past that. And then here, look at that. Ah, oh, inches away from getting that there. And it's Verstappen and someone else here. I can't even see who it is. Yeah, Verstappen in a Williams car or something like that. I don't know. Good start. Oh, dear. That Toro Rosso came very right, very abruptly. We'll go down the inside again. It looks like every time I'm just, like, meeting the back ends of McLaren's. Um, Alonso and Van Dorn go side by side. That's very unnerving. Oh, my! I've been taken out by Haas before I even get to that part. Okay, come on. We're getting out of Sector 1. We are getting out of Sector 1 no matter what this time round. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, there's been a problem for Hulkenberg there. They've all slowed down. Actually, this is good. For some reason, AI have slowed down massively there. That's allowed us to get up into P12. We're, oh, my Lord. We're side by side with the McLaren. Going to let him through. Right. Okay, okay, we got this far, Arv. We got this far. Now, just navigate the rest of this circuit. We've got a three-time second penalty. Nothing new to Palmer. That's fine. We can survive that. Right, okay, this is tricky. I need to make sure I just don't crash into Alonso here. The hairpin, nice and easy. Nicely does it. It's just like we're going to Tesco on the shopping trip. It's fine. Oh, no, under braking! Not one of my uh, finest moments here. Under braking, just go a little bit too right, hit the curve, and uh, at uh, some stage, even Jolien Palmer has to survive Monaco. And I think that time is now. Come on, let's uh, get a nice start to the right. I'm going to go down the inside. Oh, my, so close to Magnussen. Yellow flags already. We're going to just jump down the inside. There's been an absolute car park here. Oh, surprise, surprise, it's Stroll. All right, we're just going to stroll on out of here then, and... Uh, Oh, isn't it a wonderful Sunday in Monaco? We've got no cars ahead of us, and we're... Oh, my God. Day out here. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't just do that. I didn't just do that. I actually just... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I just went straight into the wall. Yep, yeah, that's happened. More than anything, this video just shows I can't drive with a controller. I, I, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Which is why I do the series with a controller anyway, because it makes it a lot more fun. Otherwise, it literally would be a very simple challenge, I would think, on a wheel. I would think. I would like to think. Maybe I should put that to the test one day and do this challenge actually on a racing wheel. Because I keep on saying it would be very easy with a racing wheel, but maybe it might not be. But uh, I'm just assuming part of, the, part of the reason why I also do fail these challenges very, oh my, the safety car's been taken out. And there's, oh, there's, um, no messing around here now. I think it's time to get you to the end of this lap so we can go to the bank then in uh, Monaco and uh, get those uh, much needed funds to pay Renault for your drive. Right, we've got a good enough start, I guess. We're down the inside, this tar, ha, 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 oh my, my heart is in my throat. Right, we're around the outside. All good, hulky baby, move away, thank you. No, there's been many, many issues. I can continue on, but part of the challenge is that I have to survive with my entire car intact. So, fuck's sake. I was uh, quite pleased that we went around the outside that time. So, I think we're getting better at surviving turn one, really. It's just about now just avoiding the AI carnage because they seem to be unable to not crash in sector one. And then, you know, then you have just the Sauber coming down on my rear end and just creaming me in the rear. Okay, I've decided that this is officially the last attempt. It will be done on this attempt. And if it's not done on this attempt, I, um, well, you'll never be the wiser. Because I'll edit it to, to, to make it seem like that was the attempt. Mm. It's gone really well. Right, um, this is, uh, this is it. This is the final attempt. I'm going to call it now. This is the one. This is the one where we survive. This is the one where we get to the end. We can survive turn one. Once we get past that, just need to make sure. I now know. Just keep it nice and easy in Sector 3 through St. Paul. Then we're fine. We'll go down the inside here. I need to take avoiding action because there's a five-car pileup. So that's all within rules. So we're up into sixth place. We've now got only 11 runners. Wow, this mod is really effective at taking cars out. Really, really is quite effective at taking cars out. Especially at Monaco. But now, now it's plain sailing, to be honest, unfortunately. I mean, in terms of... Uh, Entertainment factor is just kind of a, a nice, easy, Sunday, boring drive to the end. Because now I know not to go too fast into Sector 3. <laughs> I, um, I, that wasn't on purpose. That was, I was genuinely just going along. And, uh, yeah, the turning circle on a controller. I now see what, like, people 
complain about for like league races on online. The turning circle is abysmal at Monaco on a controller. Um, right, come on. Oh my god. Yes, okay, come on, come on. This is the what? This is the one. This is the one. I've avoided Magnussen. Avoid that spare wheel flying on the track. I've changed the camera by accident. I've tapped the right stick. Okay, we're now on this camera now. I've just decided spontaneously. I've got an absolute train behind me. The Palmer train, which we'll see in real life. But I I'm now just permanently in this camera now because I don't want to muck this up. Right. Okay. Oh, I've got a neutral now. Nice and slow in first gear. Got it. Got it. We are good. We're good, baby. Okay, I can change it here in this, in this tunnel. There we go. Back to normal. Back to the normal T-cam. The Toro Rosso is going to try and have me on toast here. We're going to defend nice and easy. Could have easily hit the wall there. Right. This is the part where I need to go very slowly into swimming pool. Nice and easy. There we go. Through the new chicane. Cut the corner like Palmer would. Nice and easy through Raskas. There we go, through the final corner, don't muck it up now, Arab, there we go, and Bob's your uncle, there we go, it's gonna be Survive Monaco, there's the finish line there, and how you like that, there we go, bang. Guys, smash the like button if you have enjoyed the video and if you have enjoyed the return of this series. Let me know in the comments below what track I should do next on this series. If you're new around here, then do subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. Usually probably a bit more serious than this kind of video, but it's nice to have these one-off kind of goofy videos. I've been over. Hope you enjoyed today, and I'll see you guys next time.